How's it going today, guys? Today, I want to quickly go over a tip on how to allow apps from anywhere in your Mac OS for Sierra or High Sierra. Now, with the Sierra update and continued on in High Sierra, there's a change with Gatekeeper on your Mac. And what that means is it won't allow you to install or use apps that are downloaded from third party sites or applications and things like that. So, there was a way to do this in the past, and a lot of you might remember that, and it, and it looked something like this. I'll put it up now. But that's not an option anymore. So if you quickly go into your system preferences and you go to your security and privacy, you'll notice that allow apps downloaded from, you only have two options. It's the App Store and then the App Store and Identify Developers. And in the past, there was a third option that said Anywhere, and this no longer is here. Now, there is a trick. If you've been downloading some sort of third-party program that says the file is damaged or it just can't be opened because it's a third party, well, we need to do this step that'll allow you to use these programs. So what you need to do is open up Terminal. And in Terminal, there is a command that will then allow this third option to be there. So if you go into the description, you'll find the command, and you can just copy and paste that into your terminal. Hit Enter. It's going to need your password. And once you've hit in your password, please type it properly, of course, that third option will show up. Now, not immediately. You need to exit out of your preferences. Go back in. And there it is. Now you can see that apps can be downloaded from anywhere. If for some reason the check mark is up on one of these, you just need to unlock and move it down to anywhere. Now if you open those third party downloaded programs, you should be able to jump right in. It should no longer tell you that the app or the download is damaged or anything like that. It should work. Now this the reason that Mac stopped allowing this option was a safety option. So what you need to do is make sure that what you've downloaded and the program you're trying to install is not going to do any damage to your computer. So do your due diligence there. But this is the exact same option that you had in the past on your Mac operating system. So no need to worry in that situation. Now, if you after you've downloaded your program, you want to go back to the two options here and be safe. Well, there's a second command. So if you just check down to the options there, you're basically swapping the word disable for enable. And you don't even need your password on this one. Now, when you go into security and privacy, that third option is gone. And your app, if you've already installed it, should still work. So guys, thanks for checking in today. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, like, subscribe, share the video if you enjoyed, and we'll be back with the next one. Thanks a lot.